Yo YouTube, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create some nuts and bolts. So first we're going to go create a sketch. Select the top plane view. Uh, select a line. From the center we're going to drag it like 5 millimeters. Like this. Zoom in a bit. Again we're going to create a line. Upwards say 15 and another line like this I go back to that all the way back then you have something like this gonna click finish sketch then up here we're gonna choose revolve it's already already selected it so we have to select this line and it's gonna revolve around it like this and press OK. So we have something in the shape of a bolt. Next, we're gonna go again create a sketch on this plane. Zoom in a bit. Now we're gonna make a circle. You can select create circle, but you always you can press C on your keyboard. So we press C, we drag it upward like let's say something like 16. Next, we're gonna create a line. This line, let's say we do two blocks from here to uh, one, two. Something like this. 90 degrees, I'm sorry. And another one from here to here. And yet another one. We're gonna make a cross in the middle. And the last one we do from here to let's say here. Yeah, something like this. Click finish sketch. Go to extrude. Select this one. Hold the shift key so you can select all those uh, planes. And we're gonna cut it in, so we're gonna let's say minus two and press enter. So we have something like this. Next, we're gonna create the nut mm, just to make it easier. Select the top plane view, turn it. We're gonna move this one out of the way. So we uh, make it that way, like this. Press OK. So we're going to keep that one aside. So we again, go create a sketch. Select the top plane view. Next, we're going to go to uh, create a polygon and then the top one. Select from the center, drag it upwards. Let's say 10 millimeters. Something like this. Press finish sketch. Again, we're gonna extrude it upwards this time because we need it like, uh, let's say, six millimeters, six. And we have something like this. Already looks like it, but it's not done yet. Again, create sketch. Top plane view. We're gonna make a circle. This one is like 10 millimeters uh, in diameter, so we gonna make a hole from like 10 millimeters. Press C for circle, or go to create and then circle, and press 10, enter. Now we have something like this. Press finish sketch, and again we're gonna extrude it. We're gonna cut it out. So we're gonna you can drag the arrow down, and it cuts it automatically. And press OK. So next we're gonna make threads in this one and threads on the outside. So let's start with this one. Yeah, the easy way is go to create. Next we're gonna go to threads. Uh, where is it? This one thread. Then you're gonna you have this box with some options. We're gonna select this, the inside of the circle. And over here you can select the uh, the size you want it, but we're gonna make it 
10 millimeters because the hole is 10, the cylinder is 10. So you can play around with these settings, but they're all fine. Just make sure this one molded. If you check this box, you can see it cuts it in and it's already done. Just press OK. As you can see, let's zoom in a bit. We have threads now inside. And for this one, it's basically the same. You can already select it, create, thread. Make sure you, you, you keep it the same, but it's already at 10. And again, select molded. And there you have it, a simple nut and bolt. Now we're gonna make it uh, working in Fusion 360. I'm gonna turn this one around. Turn it upwards. If you want it for 3D printing, it's already done. If you want it working for some project you're on, then we're gonna do that now. We're gonna animate it so it works. What I like to do is give it a color. Select it all, right click, appearance. Just wait a second. I like to use the uh, aluminium one, so go to metal. Aluminium, pick the one you like. I like the polished one. Just give them a better look. The cross, we're gonna make it a bit darker. Something like this. Yeah, that looks good. So, next, you wanna go to select, go over here to bodies. The first body, this one, right click, create compounds from bodies. So, this one isn't the body anymore, but it's a compound component I'm sorry uh, the next one we're gonna do the same so right click create components from body and again we have two components now so we can work with next we're gonna make them align together we're gonna go to assemble and joint so we're gonna get this box so we want to make sure this thread goes into this one and this is going to turn around around the threads etc so for compound one you're going to go to snap and select if you hover over it you see all those select points you can choose but again we want this middle part in the middle of this this part but you can't select it you can click wherever you want but it won't so hover over it hold control then you can select the middle part so click it I'm not gonna make it a bit invisible for the next component we want it over this and here you can click the middle click it as you can see it will hover over it and they're perfectly aligned now next you want to go over to motion and select cylinder cylindrical this one as you can see it's gonna turn around now like it should. You can press the play button. Like this. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do. Uh, let's say we want to keep this one not moving anymore. The only thing is the nut is gonna move and this one is gonna stay grounded. So we go to that component. Right click on it and click ground. And there you have it. This one won't move anymore, only this one. Let's see if it already moves. If you, you can drag it like this. As you can see it goes all the way up and down. We have to make it stop like here and move here and have it turn around. So next thing you want to go is to over here joint the joint we just made this one and you have this little box next to it click it and it will open this box where you can set the minimum and the maximum range this thing will gonna move the nut first click on slide click minimum click maximum zoom in a bit first we, you want to set the minimum you can drag it drag it drag it Something like this, it says 14, 
maybe a bit more so minus 15 next we want to go to the maximum drag it uh, let's say the maximum is one this one will change so we have to change the game one 14 one millimeter check press play to check it uh, it goes a bit too far i think let's see let's see how far it goes yeah so i think we have to change this one instead of two we make it three how far will it go nope it's the other one so we're gonna keep this one at one i'm gonna change this one to minus 16. also not the way i like it maybe three you have to play around with it a bit more set it to one let's try minus one so it will look better minus two you just have to play around with it i think it's just fine for now and press ok so now it won't go if you drag it it stops here look can't go any farther and it won't go any farther than this the only thing we have to change now is the speed of the rotation we have to really turn it so it will thread around it look like this Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to let's see which one was it i think it was a symbol and then motion link gonna press capture position joints it's a joint we just made so the, the don't know if you can see it it's a blue line over here just click it and over here link with the same joint like this as you can see it will change the distance if it change if it rotates 360 degrees so if you change this to one as you can see it already looks a bit better if you change this to let's say 80 it won't make a full turn so yeah, you just have to play around with it a little bit um, depending on the size of your your threads and stuff but most likely it's one or two maybe one and a half let's check it yeah i think that looks uh, looks good so there you have it a working nut and bolt in fusion 360 ready for your products you really have to turn it to twist it on twist it off like this and if you want to make it for 3d painting you don't need to do all of this you can just stop and export it as a stl before we did all the animations and stuff so i think that's it i can show you how to make a different size head on the on the on the uh, bolt too so yeah let's do that gonna make a quick one so we're gonna create a new bolt just uh, something uh, the same but a bit faster so first capture position I'm gonna make the line just uh, like we did before I'm gonna show you how to change the head a bit on the easy way again okay, let's say what 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 did we do 15 I guess yep or something like this and another line we go this way and back that way and back to the beginning again finish sketch uh rev sorry i clicked the wrong one click uh, revolve check this axis and again we have this press ok make the cross in the middle zoom in a bit press c for the circle 
drag it upwards. Let's uh, do a 16 that we did. Can we can uh, make some lines? One, two, I think something like this. Make sure it's 90 degrees. If it does this, just press escape. Check the line again. Maybe I'm doing it a bit too fast, but uh, from the middle one to boxes. Again, from the middle one two. And the other way, so if you're nice uh, cross. Press escape, check the line. So, finish sketch. I'm gonna extrude it inwards two millimeters. Hold the shift key like this. Oh, I messed up. So you can see this dot doesn't align. So maybe we can drag it. I think it's fine now. Let's check it. Yes, we can select it now. Okay, minus two, so we have to cross in the middle. Enter. We have something like this. Okay, come on, we do the thread too. Uh, so we go to create thread. Basically, the settings are fine, just take this box, mold it. Okay, so we have the same bolt we just made. But if you want to make this head a big different, a big Let's see, click, click this, this edge, this little line, and go to fillet. So you can drag this arrow, but what I like to do is just type in one, one millimeter. As you can see, it will make some curved edges, two, three, four. Five, I don't think it's gonna work. So you see, you get an error. So you can play with it around with it. One to four millimeters, let's say four. Press OK. So you can see we have a different bolt now, like before. You can play around with it, what you like. So I guess this is it. You have a walking nuts and bolts in Fusion 360. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments and I will try to help you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button, it will really help me out. So thank you for watching and see you next time.